There have been mixed reactions trailing the proposed legislation by the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Muda Shiru Obasa, which will make laws in the areas of property and the economy to protect indigents of the state. On Tuesday, Obasa was unanimously re-elected as Speaker of the House after the proclamation of the state's 10th Assembly by the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, making the third consecutive time that Obasa will occupy the position. In his acceptance speech, the Speaker said, Lagos is Yoruba land and that laws passed by the Assembly will now be translated to Yoruba language. He also stated that the Assembly will ensure that laws are made to protect the interests of indigenous people of Lagos and that lawmakers will reverse all that is reversible to protect the interests of the indigents. Lagos is a Yoruba land as against assertion of some people that it is no more land. Therefore, part of our legislative agenda is to ensure that the translation of laws passed by this house to Yoruba language. We also aim at achieving our collective goals of creating a robust legal sorry, legislative framework that protects the interests of our people. Going forward in this way, we are going to employ all legislative instruments to support, to, for the support of the indigenous of Lagos State. Well, the pronouncement has generated mixed reactions after the rhetoric, Lagos is no man's land, heightened tensions during the just concluded elections with reports of intimidation and harassment of voters rife across the state. The Labour Party governorship candidate in Lagos State during the elections, Baribo Rose Vivo, in a circular posted on Twitter, described the proposal as an attempt to jeopardize economic development and individual empowerment of the state. His statement reads in part, as a politician deeply committed to upholding the principles of fairness, equity, and justice, I strongly condemn the comments of the Speaker of the Lagos House of Assembly for considering a bill that seeks to reverse property rights in favor of indigents at the expense of the constitutional recognition of citizenship. This move not only undermines the fundamental rights of individuals, but also poses a significant threat to the principles of inclusivity and social cohesion that our great nation, Nigeria, stands for. He further stated that by considering this regressive bill, the speaker disregards the spirit of the Nigerian constitution and perpetrates a discriminatory system that divides our society along ethnic lines. Regrettable. This move threatens to erode our progress in promoting unity, national integration, and equal opportunities for all Nigerians. Furthermore, it is crucial to recognize that property rights are vital to economic development and individual empowerment. The proposed bill undermines the principle of private ownership and could severely affect investment, economic growth, and overall prosperity in Lagos State. He further stated that by considering such legislation, the speaker is sending a damaging message to local and international investors, discouraging their participation and confidence in the state's economy. It was a robust statement for he posted on Twitter, um, Dr. Abati. I know, you know, I, I, I saw that you were shocked when you heard the speaker actually well, make that comment. So, yeah. Yeah, Rufa, it's not AI. We have a lot of comments, but I want to take your comment first before I continue, because this has generated a lot of reactions on social media. It is, they have said, against our Nigerian constitution. I don't know how this law will pass anyway. Well, if, if, first, if they Radio Road Survival is right on yes. all the points in that is a statement. I read it. We still went on further yes. and said, well, even while you are recognizing the rights of uh, indigents, the thing is, for government to stop stealing people's property, to stop becoming a threat to property rights, and that, you know, this is very regressive. And I think that uh, many Nigerians agree on this call. Now, what is the function of the legislature? Let's zero in on the uh, House of Assembly. Section 4, sub 7 of the 1999 Constitution says that the uh, legislature at the level of the House of Assembly, the same principle with regard to the National Assembly, shall make laws for peace, order, and good governance. 
of Nigeria. The statement made by uh, uh, Speaker Mudashu Obasa, I don't see how that promotes peace. I don't see how it promotes order. I don't see how it promotes good governance. And this is the whole point of uh, Barry Boros Vivo's, uh, you know, statement that, you know, the House of Assembly of Lagos cannot be saying that. Two, it's provocative. Because you recall, as your narrative pointed out, that during the uh, just concluded elections, ethnicity was such a big problem in Lagos State, yeah. resulting in conflict in parts of Lagos between indigenous and other persons of other ethnic uh, extraction, to an extent that indigenous were even uh, carrying rituals all over the place and threatening yeah. non-indigenous to leave Lagos. Now, you can't have that. Political in, you, you can't have that you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a society. Now, going further, why did uh, Mudashiro of Lhasa consider it necessary to reopen that matter? This is the point. He had been why? chosen by his colleagues for a third term as speaker. You know, he should just thank them and talk like, uh, you know, somebody who is interested in the, in the national interest, in public interest, not to talk for, I say, Provincial person dredging up uh, anti diluvian sentiments. Uh, Lagos uh, belongs to Yoruba. Lagos is a no man's land. I thought that argument was uh, part of the politics. You should not use the platform of the House of Assembly to play politics. That's not leadership. And this is what we say to public officials all the time. If you don't have something to say, something that will uh, appeal, appeal to reasonable, right thinking members of society, can you just shut up? Because vulnerability is not an asset in interacting with the public. And then the issues that he raised, those issues can, in fact, cause problems in Lagos State. I hope nobody goes ahead with that. Because the Constitution of Nigeria grants every Nigerian the right to own property. Absolutely. Section 43, movable and immovable in any part of Nigeria. The law is very specific. Section 44 says you can only affect those rights only as prescribed in this law. So you can't on your own just sit in the House of Assembly and say we are removing your property rights. Section 42 says you cannot be discriminated against in this country on the basis of your ethnicity, religion, or anything. The law France a discrimination. The threat to reverse whatever is irre irreversible because you are not a Yoruba person or you are not from Lagos, uh, that is uh, discriminatory. Land Use Act, which vests section one of which vests ownership of land in the governor as a trustee, did not say if the governor of Lagos State is going to uh, give out land, it should do so only to people of, uh, of Lagos State or to only Yorubas. That uh, section one is very clear. It says, on Nigerians in any part of Nigeria. So I'm surprised because I understand that Mr. Obasa, you know, is a lawyer. So maybe he's just playing to the gallery, but this kind of thing can cause conflict, can cause disorder. Absolutely. And all those provisions that we have read out, they are enforceable in law. Yeah. So why does he want to start his uh, third term on a controversial note and on uh, something that shows uh, on due partisanship? Yes. That House of Assembly in Lagos State is for everybody in Lagos State. <laughs> it's not for people, where is that place you come from? You are from, uh, from Central Lagos, Lagos, right? Lagos Island. Lagos Island. Olobo. Olobo. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not only for people from uh, Olobo alone or people from uh, Iga. Yes. Iga, you don't go wrong. Yeah. 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 It's, it's for all of us. Absolutely. From Absolutely. Central Lagos to Abuleba and beyond. In fact, up to Alakuko. Absolutely. Dr. Bati, as you have <laughs> quoted the Constitution, I was cracking up before I come to you. You're not the only one. People are even quoting the Constitution on Twitter. Let me take a tweet from uh, Eric, who wrote, While the Lagos State House of Assembly, led by Obasa, has the power to make laws, such laws must be in line with the Constitution. The law will be declared unconstitutional before a court of competent jurisdiction, as it violates relevant provisions of the Nigerian Constitution. Well, Sadiq wrote, They want to make tribal bigotry a law in Lagos. It will be against the Constitution and is another ploy to build a very tall fence between Yorubas and the people of any other tribe instead of the Nigerian government to always preach and promote unity with intertribal marriages and more. They divide us more. 